Welcome to Officer Thinking. I'm Commander Chris. In this log entry, I'll be discussing one of my scientific interests, paleontology. The following specimens are from my personal collection. Here we have an ammonite fossil that formed in a shale deposit approximately 220 million years ago. While ammonites come in a variety of shapes and sizes, this particular example is of the smaller spiral shell variety approximately four centimeters in diameter. This is a trilobite fossil that also formed in a shale deposit approximately 220 million years ago. Trilobites also come in a variety of shapes and sizes. This is an example of one of its more simpler forms at approximately three centimeters in length. Trilobites and ammonites cohabitated Earth's primordial oceans at approximately the same time period. These are echinoderm fossils, affectionately known as sea biscuits, that formed in the limestone deposits of Florida's peninsula. They lived approximately 30 to 50 million years ago during the Eocene epoch, when Florida's peninsula was covered by a shallow sea. They are closely related to modern-day sand dollars. Here we have a specimen of coprolite approximately 6.5 centimeters in length. Coprolite forms when a dinosaur defecates and its feces are covered in layers of sediment and then fossilize. So this is basically fossilized dinosaur poop. This is a dinosaur eggshell fragment approximately 3.5 centimeters wide from Argentina's Patagonia region where large herds of dinosaurs would nest and lay their eggs. This is a Spinosaurus tooth, approximately 4.5 centimeters in length, found in modern-day Morocco. Spinosaurus lived approximately 65 to 100 million years ago in what is now North Africa. While skeletal remains are extremely rare, the Spinosaurus teeth can be found throughout the region. This is a cast replica of a Deinonychus claw, approximately 7.5 centimeters in length. This small example of the raptor family of theropods lived in North America during the early Cretaceous period. This is a cast replica of a Tyrannosaurus rex tooth. While 25 centimeters in length, only about six or seven centimeters would have been exposed. The rest is the tooth's root that would have been embedded in the Tyrannosaurus jawbone. This is a model of a Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton with a human figure for size comparison. Tyrannosaurus could grow to 30 or 40 feet long and lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period. Well, that's the extent of my personal collection I hope you'll join me next time for part two in the paleontology series, where I take a shuttlecraft over to the Florida Museum of Natural History. I'll do a walkthrough of their Hall of Fossils. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this log entry. If so, please feel free to hit the like button or even subscribe for future log entries. Until next time, live long and prosper.